for my first number. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, want to, you wouldn't want to hear that at all. Uh, Joey asked me if I would introduce uh, uh, Dan Perino, and it gives me a great deal of uh, honor to do that. Uh, Dan Perino is uh, one of my better friends in Champaign, Urbana. Uh, he's he's part of Urbana High School. Uh, he was a professor emeritus now at uh, the University of Illinois. Uh, he said not to mention anything at all about uh, uh, Medicare 7, 8, or 9, but I couldn't help with that. Uh, Dan is one of the originators of that. Uh, I asked him a few years ago if he would uh, do a program for us at James Jones Literary Society on the music of World War II. And he's been doing these kinds of things uh, ever since. Uh, they did a uh, concert at Cranert on World War II. Uh, I'll let Dan introduce the rest of the uh, band uh, members for you. But uh, Dan Perino is a very special person. He's a World War II veteran from Okinawa, uh, 77th Infantry Division, and went on into Japan for the occupation of Japan and, and worked uh, in the music business there. I think he was communication chief for his organization and traveled around hey, Dan. Japan with uh, concerts. Hey. Please welcome Dan Perino. stage for you a bit here. It's, it's supposed to be informational and entertainment as well. We want you to uh, enjoy the music. This uh, the group that we'll be playing is the William Woodward Trio. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and we need to get people who knew the music of that particular era. Not everybody can play that music, and so we're really pleased that we can have it with us. But it's important that you know that, uh, uh, what the program is about. First of all, that it's scripted. Uh, there are two veterans in the group, myself, at 86 years old, and then the other person I'll introduce in a moment is 90 years old. Uh, and so if you left it strictly up to us, we would talk and talk and talk and talk, and we would be here forever. Uh, so we have to script it so that we can get through it in, uh, in at least three or four hours. But uh, nice. uh, So uh, with that, I'll just go ahead and introduce the, uh, uh, the people who are up here. Uh, first of all, the musicians on piano, and. Uh, is Woody Woodward, and let me just say to him. Uh, Woody, uh, Woody is a professor of the sciences. I know it's anatomy, and uh, is it physiology, Woody? Uh, and, and, and he's now retired. He's a very active jazz musician, and certainly one of the best pianists around. And it was so important to him and Woody to do this. So let's give another hand to Woody. Woody. And then on bass we have J.B. Ferris, and interestingly enough, J.B. is from Charleston here, and uh, is a graduate, uh, has a bachelor of masters from, uh, from uh, Eastern Illinois University. He's working on his uh, Ph.D. at the University of Illinois in jazz studies, and, and, uh, and J.B. is an active performer. Uh, and there, you know, there are people who can talk about jazz, but not everybody can play jazz and talk about it too. So let's give a nice round of applause. <laughs> Uh, superb jazz musician on drums, uh, Jeff Mackey. Uh, he's a teacher and a performer, plays with a number of the jazz groups uh, in town, and he plays with uh, the Woodward Wood Trio and a, a group called uh, the Boneyard uh, Jazz Ensemble, and uh, both modern and contemporary and, and uh, traditional. So we're very pleased to have uh, Jeff with us, Jeff Mackey. Uh, our vocalist is a woman who's been with Medicare for a number of years. Actually, she's my mother. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you be a good Dina, boy. <laughs> this is Dina Burnett, who uh, is a professional musician as well, has just recently had a show with Woody and Jeff at the Cranham Center called Lady Sing Sinatra. That's she's right. A very fine uh, interpreter of, uh, of uh, jazz vocalists here. And let's be Dina Burnett. Let's give Thank you. Time. The other veteran is John O'Connor. He's a 90-year-old. He's an amazing person who plays horn very well. Most of us who are up at our age, we, maybe we can do well for, for, for a short period of time. But uh, anyway, this is John O'Connor. John was a B-24 pilot that flew the Flow SD uh, oil rays uh, in 
Romania and uh, flew out of North Africa and, uh, and Italy. So John Connor. Hi. Hello, everybody. It's nice to be here. And, uh, and our, our, our narrator, who will be giving us the continuity of the program, is a person that I just asked a week ago to do this, because uh, I'm just not able to do that. And I'm just really pleased because uh, he, he's really very good at this. The more importantly, he's got a great sense of humor, which tells me that we're not quite sure how this is all going to come out. We <laughs> want it to be loose, and we want you to, to chime in whatever you want to. Uh, so let me introduce to you who is the Director of Special Services for the Champaign Schools, now retired with his wife, John Weaver. John?